Hello everybody, Neil here. Welcome to Rider Guider and this week's shenanigans. This week's shenanigans is actually a review. And uh, as you know, I'm reasonably new to adventure riding, a couple of years now approaching, and have a lot of experience on the roads. Something I'm not experienced in um, is wearing different types of footwear. I've always had a lightweight road boot. When I first started adventure riding, I got the former boots and these have been outstanding. I've got a, spare, a pair of uh, low ankle ones and I've got these ones and they are an okay boot for the type of riding I was doing. I wasn't throwing myself into gnarly situations and everything's risk assessed. You look at the type of footwear you want, you compromise between comfort, fit, ease of use, warmth. These have offered up quite a decent bit of footwear for me. However, this weekend I'm going into unknown territory. I've got a big ride coming up with uh, a group of about 20 or 30 other Tenere riders. And uh, it's an unknown quantity. We've had a lot of bad weather this last two, three weeks where we're riding. There's going to be ruts, there's going to be gnarly tracks, there's going to be a higher risk of coming off and uh, a, therefore a higher risk of injury. And as such, my risk assessment suggests I need what for me is an improvement in footwear. The fact is the second most important bit of safety gear you can have as a motorcyclist is boots after your helmet of course. I've bought this last week some new motocross boots if you like. Um, these are a bit different as well. These are the Tech 7 from Alpine Star and I'll tell you why I think these are great for adventure riding especially for something like I'm doing this weekend is because they're also waterproof. I'll show you in a second. These are the Dry Star Tech 7s. I've it's done me now at $548 Australian. Um, not a cheap bit of kit, but why compromise if you want the, the best things? They're the only ones I could find that were, in fact, waterproof. I was looking at the Liat 5.5, but they're not waterproof. And if you're a motocrosser, fine, not a problem. You're only going to be doing X amount of laps. And before your next heat, you better get a different set of boots on if you're getting muddy and wet and horrible, not a problem. But if I'm wearing these all day, I want warm, comfortable, dry feet at the end of the day. And I'm going to be taking them off and wearing them again the day after. I'm going to make sure that I'm happy and comfortable to put them back on with a dry pair of socks and be happy. So that's why I bought these. The difference is, well, clearly a hell of a lot. With that, these are the former comfortable, nice, boots they look very purposeful but when it comes to dropping a 200 kilogram bike on top of myself they're not going to offer much protection whatsoever in relation to what you need these however i've got no fore or aft movement at all structure wise they are exceptional they're going to be as i said the waterproof four buckles very strong very purposeful looking item Risk assessing the weekend ahead. It's important that I don't end up wanting. I've got to show you this. This is the uh, the waterproof lining. The standard Tech 7s don't have that. Something else that these have, which is superb for me. I'll just show you something. Kick my trainers off. Show you a bit of leg. Look at the size of them, right? Now, these are my runner's calves. And... A lot of people struggle with boots because they can't get the calves inside them. These will accommodate a decent sized calf. So, again, it was a good selling point for me. I can't wait to try them. The waterproofing is going to be important for me this weekend. I'll uh, give them a real good test. I'll come back with my legs in peace, in one piece, because of this and how, how well they are. They're a good bit of kit. Um, my interest is really the weatherproofing this weekend. If you're riding all day as an adventure rider, I actually think this is probably the only boot on the market that's going to offer everything initially from my first findings, if you want. Just injury protection, fine. 
but if you're going to be riding all week, you can ride any, any pair of motocross boots. If you're out hard enduro or adventure riding where it's gnarly, I don't think you should be compromising anything else. I think these, so far for me, being waterproof, and the only ones I could find that were waterproof, will be the go-to, as far as I'm concerned. I'll let you know after the weekend how I go. I might have a, I might have a bit, bit of a video to show you of the ride and where we go. And, as to, and, and, the, and the sort of terrain that I'm going through with them. And when I get home after the weekend, we'll give them a hose off and we'll have a look at them. And uh, we'll give it a whirl. So that's it. Let's uh, get out there and try them. I've had a full weekend away and we've had some cracking weather um, some of the worst winds and rain that I've ridden in which was amazing considering I used to come from the UK and I recall some hellish weather that I've ridden in but uh, it's been good now quick update on the Tech 7s big question is are they waterproof let me tell you the big shock horror is no it's a massive claim is waterproof and i would say they're not waterproof i'd give them 97 percent waterproof i had a couple of damp patches on my socks and i don't know where it got in it kind of got in through the top so i'm not sure if i could guarantee they're being waterproof but i expect they're probably far far more waterproof than pretty much anything else on the market and it was pretty bad weather um, that lining don't get me wrong I wasn't uncomfortable and they did a great job and I had them on for two days um, and the second day was the way it got the rain as far as the boots concerned I thought they were exceptional in relation to the fit and how I could ride with them I really enjoyed them they weren't restrictive considering they're the first motocross type or hard enduro type boot that I've ever had. I'm still impressed, but it's a, it's, a, it's a big claim, isn't it? Waterproof, I'm not sure it can be guaranteed. I don't know where it's got in, if at all. You know, look here, we've got a lot going on. All these little potential places. Can't really tell, has it got in through a buckle, through here? But let's see, um, I'm not disappointed. They're still a bit damp here, but there's no obvious place where they've got in, uh, where the water's got in. But uh, other than that, footwear-wise, look, it's, it's, they're close to waterproof, I would say. And I don't think there'd be anything else on the market that could do a better job, considering the conditions that we were in. So, so far, so good. Look, they're not waterproof, but they're bloody close too. So that's, that's a good product. Um, and I'm impressed and I'm not disappointed I bought them. So that's my say on the Tech 7s. If you're an adventure rider, you should really consider them. The dry stars over and above the standard Tech 7s, I think that they're a good product. Now, on that dry star front, and I, I was in a little bit of a quandary in relation to buying Alpine stars because maybe a year or so ago, I bought some gloves and I've just looked at them, and these are also classed as Dry Star, and they've been shite. Alpine Star Dry Star Performance Gloves. If I just give you a quick view of these, they're just a standard glove, but Dry Star, I'm not even bothered about the waterproofing, to be honest. Um, they're classed as Dry Star. Now, I want to talk about these because 
from day one, the left glove was an absolute shocker. Um, and you take it on and off, and I, the, the lining started coming out, and I, I should have just taken them back, and I can't exactly remember now where I got them from. It wasn't from my local Yamaha dealer, um, and I'm not sure where they got them from, to be honest, but you're taking them on and off, the lining was coming off, and I was struggling to get my thumb back in at times, so that made it a bit of a problem. Um, on this ride that I've just been on this weekend, I was wearing these, and I'd, I'd cut the glove liner out of the thumb area so I could get my thumb in previously. This, let me think when it was, Sunday morning, I went to put them back on, couldn't get them on, and I was in a bit of a panic because everybody was about packing up and ready to get on this ride. And I've had to rip the whole lining out, and of course that means it's a cold day. We're looking at sort of like potentially weather forecast that said something like nine degrees feels like 1.3 at our destination, so it was going to be cold, so I needed a glove. Luckily, and I don't know why, I took my Fox motocross type gloves with me and that ended up I don't know why I took an extra pair of gloves lucky I did and that went perfectly inside this glove so I ended up using another glove as a liner and they worked an absolute treat so I sort of yeah kicked myself a bit late really getting the Alpine Star boots because when these became a problem to me I uh, said I'd never buy Alpine Star again because I was so disappointed in them. And I've ended up buying the boots, which so far are good. But then gloves, I definitely will not be buying Alpine Star gloves again. Another thing that happened on the other glove, as I was pulling the other one on the following morning, uh, the same morning, I pulled the uh, Velcro strap round on my wrist and it ripped, it ripped straight off. So there's, they were a Friday afternoon product, I think, from the factory, maybe. But they will be going in the bin. And I've bought myself, for the commute and for the next few rides, some of these. And I'll be looking at these in the future. The TFX2 Adventure glove from Five. Uh, look like a good product. Very comfy. And these claim to be waterproof as well, but I'm not so sure. I'm not too bothered. Um, let's see how we go. These will be a good product. These are my next gloves. And uh, yeah, look, it says waterproof there. We will find out. Um, but yeah, whoops, falling off me, my chair. So um, yeah, Tech 7 from Alpine Star. If you're an adventure rider, get them. If you're a motocrosser, you might be only doing X amount of laps and maybe not wearing your boots all day. You might not be too bothered about them being waterproof per se. But as an adventure rider, I think they're the go-to boot because they are as good as waterproof as you could probably get. I think it's a massive claim, like I said. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll probably do updates in six months over the winter here in Australia and uh, I'm going to give these a clean now and make them look new again. Thanks for watching. I'm Neil. See you on the next one.